Okay. Okay, now I know this is a rather unusual thing here, but I'm just showing you a little bit when someone asks you to... to um, now, when I pull my glove off, I don't want you to do that as a beginner, okay? I don't want you to pull your glove off as a beginner, but you have to understand my hands are not... I, ha I really have some issues with my hands. And... Um, I can't hold things so it becomes more dangerous for me to try to hold it with a glove uh, because I will slip easily so um, um, anyway okay we're gonna we're gonna kind of cut a little thing in here what we're gonna cut around here is what we're gonna do kind of show our bottom part that we have here actually we should probably come from the from this side the bottom up rather than the top See, it gives it kind of the tapered look down here. And then that we're able to bring this down like here, through here. It all gives it sort of a tapered look. How it kind of tapers off to the bottom like that, in other words. All right, now let's go to where our hands are. And basically, it's pretty simple. We, we have a little, it's like a little thing in the middle, like he's holding something, I don't know, and then the hands come around there. So we're just gonna do this. And we're gonna cut like that. And we're going to come here, and we're going to cut down like that. And then we're going to just sort of do this. And then we're going to come over here, just like hands that we make. We're going to draw a little. That's where the hands are going to be coming out of the cut here make a little inside cut there there we go and we cut here and we make a little inside cut here okay just like that just like that okay And as we bring this down a little bit more, and as we bring this down a little bit more, then you kind of see the... There we go. So you kind of see the, the way it's all done. It's, it's just sort of a... Okay, now, we begin to sort of shape this as this kind of comes to the top and we kind of, like that. We come back here and this would not be square, it would be sort of shaped to um,
round this off a little bit because none of this is flat it's more of a of a shaped look that's some uh, uh, some Time Warner trucks coming by must have a big job going on. There's about three of them come by. Must have a problem going on somewhere. Okay, now let's go ahead and make our nose a little bit thinner in here. And we're going to go ahead and cut in here and separate our face from this area in here that goes all the way around and they actually have little little ears over here but we're not going to worry too much about those they're not really that de definitive so we're not really going to worry all about that a whole lot I mean, we can we can actually cut little things in there to kind of signify the the ears, just like in here. But it's not really all that that definitive. In other words, a lot of this stuff does isn't really really defined real heavily, so it doesn't really. It's not a vital picture in the piece. In other words, not like the actual face self now we want to cut across here just to like a little mouth all it is is just a very primitive mouth that uh, we're going to just cut across there just like that. Very primitive, not just sort of like that. And we just sort of shape, a lot of it is shaping just little areas and shaping things and and uh, uh, getting things kind of just like that. Now, let me get my um, But you see the little the little hands that we have here, and then we take our. Let me get my little V tool. Let me get it real quick. I'm sorry I didn't have it. Uh, You can also do this with a V tool. So as you can see, this is a very, very primitive type figure here. Oh, brother. This is a very, very primitive type figure. You can take your V tool and kind of do this and get this all situated right here and then we come to the bottom down here as it's kind of um, and 
Actually, we didn't need to go all the way down to the back with all this. We we're going to kind of do this here. We had the front there. And we take our V tool and we just want to do this. It's like a little. Sort of like that. Okay. So when we do something like this, we try to kind of uh, make it for someone. We just have to realize that it's not going to be. But the one he showed me, the the one that he that he had was a very primitive type. Um, piece and um, very very primitive very very uh, uh, very very not not a lot of detail as we might say um, uh, let me drop my pencil here Now, if we want to just make the eyes, what we can do is just come down here and we can actually put eyes in him like this. Will we actually come of sort of come a and we come from the outside. like that where well, the eyes are not really uh, they're more a primitive like uh, thing just like that And I don't really know if this is a little beard or if this is a little, you know, like I said, a lot of that stuff that when you look at it, it has symbolism and it has things that I don't have any idea why it's there necessarily. Uh, you've seen totem poles where they have eagles and they have, and a lot of times those totem poles were made basically as gods for... Um, the Indian tribes, and if you look, the the, the it was each each specific person thing on the totem pole represented a god that the Indians worshipped. Uh, I know they they worshipped eagles and they they did uh, things like that. And I, I'm not saying anything bad about the Indians. I'm just saying years and years ago, they had that type of worship, just like um, it, it, a lot of people did. I mean. People especially that lived in the uh, areas, they lived out in the country, I mean, they lived in, in the country and they fed off the land. Uh, their gods were the gods of the land, in other words, that kept them fed and did things like that. And there's, there's, there's a lot of significance to the totem pole as you look at it, to the uh, animals that were on there. I don't know all that significance, but I know there was th that because I I've, I've read about totem poles and so um, in fact we have a football team down here 
called the Port Nature Scrolls Indians, and they have what's a guy that's dressed up and he's called an Indian spirit. So I know that there was a lot of spirits that the Indians worshipped um, during their their times that they they worshipped too. So. Okay, they're looking pretty good there. Looking, looking all right. I, this little thing in the middle, I'm not exactly what sure. It's, I think it must be something he's holding or whatever it is. And then um, I'm going to use a little thing, but basically it's got little uh, uh, fingers in here that we're we're doing. So I'm going to thin this up a little bit. And here, this little thing that goes across here. And anyway, uh, this is pretty much the look of the little... Uh, now, if we look at it, if we look at the actual picture, it's much more pruder, really, than this is. But that's okay. That's all right. That's not a big deal. Uh, like I said, that the primitive look is there that we're trying to accomplish. Uh, maybe it, I have a little bit more uh, design than, than they do. But that's not the whole purpose of it. It's good enough and um, so that's our little primitive figure that uh, I tried to do for the person to try to give them a general idea of how you would carve something like this in other words to make it look very very simpler and uh, I'll show you I'm, I'm probably just gonna stain it as all yeah, that's what you do with most of these things you, you stain them you know because you know, you don't want them to look too, uh, you know. <laughs> okay. Anyway, God bless you now.